Hey, what's up? This is SG Lewis, and thanks for watching Hollywire. Hollywire, what's going on? We got SG Lewis in the studio today. What's up? The man himself is here. <laughs> what's good? up? Yeah, LA. I'm good, yeah. yeah. I'm just about recovered from the weekend. So <laughs> like, LA, we'll do that to you. Yeah, a little bit tender, but yeah, we are we're kind of celebrating the end of tour after the show. So um, okay, let's play Hollywire how to's. Okay. This is where I ask you something and then you tell me how to. You explain how to. Okay. Okay. Alright, you ready? Uh-huh. How to shake nerves. Tequila. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> but also, actually on the flip side, meditation. See, that's a much more wholesome answer. Oh, do you meditate? Meditate every day, 10 no minutes. No way, really? Yeah. Um, how to hype a crowd. I feel like this is a lot harder how than... How to hype a crowd. You have to, it's like an energy transfer. They have to feel like you're having a good time because if people see that, you no, know, if you fake it, if you're like nervous and you're all like, uh, uptight and stuff yeah. and people looking at you performing and they're, they're gonna feel uncomfortable you know and you're on the mic like jump please like they're not gonna believe you yeah, but jump. if you're like having a good time and you show that and you like smile and you engage with the crowd then they're gonna feel comfortable and they're gonna like feed off that energy so it's like a two-way thing totally okay how to cure a hangover i feel like you may or may not be familiar with this <laughs> no idea what you're talking about <laughs> um curing a hangover um, <laughs> I can't say drinking again, but... <laughs> Honestly though, like, just if like, we're being completely real... Just like a glass of rosé or something, you know? <laughs> no, but also just Side. like, I don't know, like, binging Big Mouth on Netflix or something, a blanket, mm -hmm. I don't know, like... Okay, um, how to slide <laughs> into the DM. <laughs> I ask this because DJs are notorious for this, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing because you do this frequently? Or like, yeah. what's going on? <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Okay, how to be a good friend? To be a good friend, uh, just be honest, check in on your friends, make sure their mental health is okay, you know, be there for them, be there when things are good, be there when things are bad, and just be consistent, I guess. massive sold out show here yeah thank you it was uh it was kind of surreal and it, uh, it was brilliant though yeah it was at the Novo, and there was like two and a half thousand people here and my, my whole family flew out for it so no I, was way. Surprised. Like, I had no idea like i went for dinner i thought i was going for dinner with like label and stuff i turned up and my mom and dad were like sat there like yeah, they surprised brother. you yeah it's really cute that's yeah. so yeah cute. the show is like sick and just so uh, i'm still just like in all of it, it was amazing. Absolutely, top like top two, best, biggest, most special shows you've played. Is this one of them? Coachella was probably top two definitely this year. Like I was playing the Mojave tent and it just like packed out in like the middle of the day. It was like so much fun, but this was definitely up there. Like yeah, yeah this is definitely one of my favorites in recent memory. Um, okay, tell me what makes a DJ an awesome DJ? Like what is the secret, you know? I think is it a collab? I, or? I think being a good DJ is about um, playing records that people don't know that they want to hear yet. It's about like taking an audience somewhere that and playing the records they haven't heard before, and you know, making them feel a way that like they were. You know, good DJing to me isn't playing the biggest songs at the moment in like a running order of popularity and just right. like trying to get reactions. It's like my favorite moments DJing is when someone plays a record either you've never heard or you've completely forgotten about it and yeah. you're like <laughs> like uh, that's incredible and the whole room just like explodes like that's what it's about for me and it's, it's actually got I think it's got very little to do with like good mixing like it's all about song selection you know totally. it's like you can obsess over like mixing and like transitions or whatever but at the end of the day it's about sharing taste and experience with a crowd I, I saw a picture of you on, inst on your Instagram with Miguel oh yeah oh my god oh man like, did you see his show or how did that So we were happen? playing at the same festival and um, we, uh, we walked past his dressing room, uh, me and Aori who sings in the live show and we are like, oh my god, it's Miguel's dressing room and we had a bit to drink and she was like, let's just say what's up and I was like, no, 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 we can't do that and she just like walks up to like the security guard and was just like, hey, like, can we say what's up and he was like, yeah, sure. So, 
He like goes inside, awesome. Miguel comes out and he's like, hey, do you, want, you guys want some tequila? And we're like, yeah, fine. So I started drinking tequila with Miguel and he was super, super nice. And then we went and watched his show. So yeah, it's crazy. But that's so sick. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a dream collab for sure. Like, Dust Dark Dawn, uh -huh. trilogy EP. Yes. Just finished Dawn. Yes. So is the next one going to be like afternoon? Yeah, evening? the day after, the Monday morning. <laughs> yeah, but like <laughs> back Tell me, work. like what's up with those with those titles? Um, so basically I wanted to do a three part series that kind of followed the trajectory of a night out. So oh. Dusk being the start, Dark being the middle, Dawn being the end for because I, I kind of became obsessed with like the the purpose of music, like what is music for, like what situations does that music get listened to? And totally. so then I was like, you know, I noticed like what's the music my friends are listening to at the start of the night? And a lot of it was like disco and like house music and West Coast hip hop. And then dark is this kind of more intense, mm -hmm. like uh, darker atmosphere, higher energy. And then the dawn, peak. exactly. And dawn is like the music that people might put on when they've you know, at the end of the night. 100%. Like, so, that, mm. um, so tell me, what's next after this trilogy EP? What um, is kind of going on in the future? I'm just deep in an album at the moment. I think I have like half of it. Um, oh, so we just finished this US tour, which was like, I think 25 days selling across America, which yeah. has just been like the craziest experience. But I go back to London tonight and I'm just kind of gonna just uh, lock myself in a dark room for the next like two, three months and then yeah. hopefully emerge with an album. I love it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, you are the bomb. <laughs> thank you. The bomb. And your third part of your EP is out now. Yes, so uh, the full trilogy is out, Dust, Dark and Dawn. Um, you can check that out on Spotify. Um, check me out, follow me on socials, whatever. For more, keep it right here, only on Hollywire.